All right, just finished uh, drilling the AFR 220s for the steam holes for a 400. Um, just wanted to go over a few things on that and just kind of cover a couple different things. One being the size of the holes. Um, so this lower hole closest to the exhaust side, and then you have the upper hole closest to the intake side. Um, this hole needs to be a little smaller. I see people saying anywhere from eighth inch to three sixteenths, and then on the bottom one saying three sixteenths to quarter inch. I would not go above an eighth inch on this one. And what I actually ended up using was a little smaller than that. Um, I'll measure it here because it's still on the drill. So I measured, or I drilled it at a hundred thousands. So that was the size drill I used, or the drill bit I should say. And the reason is, if you look real close, you become, you get real close to the firing ring of the head gasket, and you get real close to the bolt hole for the cylinder head bolt. So the larger that hole gets, the closer you're gonna get to those. So, we are perfect on my mind. Your firing ring, you can see the outer edge stops right there. So we have a space in between the outer edge of the firing ring and the steam hole. Any larger, and you're gonna start to run into the firing ring of the head gasket. So about a hundred thousandths drill bits what I used on the top three. Um, down here on the lower three, I didn't end up going with an eighth inch. I could go to a 3 16 without any real issues on these. You have more space, but I don't really see a reason to. Um, and this is actually the second head I've done. So I already finished the first one. This is the second one. And I kind of learned from my mistakes on the first one. I drilled these to 3 16 I don't really see a reason to. On the first one, I drilled these to eighth inch and it started to get really close to the edge of this bolt and really close to the firing ring. I didn't like that, so I figured go with a hundred thousandths. Um, but you just gotta be careful in what you read out there because I found several articles that were saying three sixteenths on these top ones and you are nothing but asking for trouble drilling them that large and quarter inch on the bottom ones. Again, absolutely unnecessary. Some people don't drill them at all, even with the 400. They say, hey, you don't need them at all. Uh, less area to crack. You really only need them for the street. Well, I plan on running this on the street, so, and, and honestly, I like the idea of them. I think they work well. I just don't like the idea of enlarging the holes that much. And there are some other tricks that you can do um, drilling a tap on the side of the cylinder head, running lines from the water pump to the side of the heads, things like that to help. But if it was me with the 400, I'm gonna drill them. But I've definitely learned on this one a little bit of tricks. Don't go crazy with the drill bit size. Um, this is the first time I've done it. The other side I can say is it's $75 when you buy these from AFR to already have them pre-drilled. If they're going on a 400, get them pre-drilled. <laughs> I got about three hours in drilling these two heads and there is just no room for error. Especially like I'm doing it with a hand drill on the bench. Not the uh, most precise way, but it does work. But man, is it time consuming and there's just no rushing it at all. So if you're ordering them new, definitely get them well worth the money. If you don't have the choice and you pick up a used set like I did here, it's kind of that old saying, if you think you can do it, you can probably do it. Um, if you think you can't do it, you probably shouldn't do it. So if you guys think you can do it, I'd say go ahead. You just got to take your time. If you don't think you could, don't. It, it's a lot of risk there. Um, but also on an AFR head, these outer holes, you're going to be drilling about two inches to two and a half, two and a quarter right in there. The center one drills about an inch and a half. I'll actually show you 
with a drill bit what I'm talking about. Actually, a couple things. Get this drill bit out. So, one being on these upper holes, you're actually drilling at an angle. I'll show you guys this from the side. You're drilling downward towards the exhaust valve or so, towards the exhaust exit, the outside of the cylinder head. So, you're on a pretty good angle on those holes. And that's what makes them so deep is you're trying to hit the coolant jacket that's down here. So you're drilling from the top down. So this hole is about two and a quarter inches, somewhere between two and a quarter and two and a half inches. So this whole drill bit's just, I mean, it is chucked up to the very edge to break through. The center one is only about an inch and a half. Center one breaks through somewhere right in that range. And then these ones here, you actually just drill flush with the deck, so flat, no angle. And they're only about an inch deep, so lower three are definitely the easier three. Top ones, you got to drill down on an angle, going towards the exhaust or the outside of the cylinder head. Bottom three, closest to the outside of the cylinder head, drill flush, so or drill flat, no angle. But yeah, just some uh, tips and tricks on that. It was an experience, a little bit, uh, a little bit less room for air than what I expected. I think that's the best way to do it. I used plenty of WD-40. Um, the first cylinder head, I went through three drill bits, not using enough uh, lubricant. This second cylinder head, I used the same drill bit for all three or all six holes. So definitely use plenty of tapping oil or drilling oil or WD-40 definitely seemed to help how I came up with the holes is I just had an old 400 head gasket and what I did is use the doll pins to line it up so you have a locating pin in this corner a locating pin over in this corner you can see the holes through the gasket here real quick and then just lined them up marked them with a marker and how I made sure that it was square and on the pins like it should be is I just found something that was the exact diameter of the factory pins which just ended up being a couple drill bits that fit in there slide the head gaskets over make your marks and you're good to go so that worked out that worked out great that was simple but that was obviously the simplest part about this but i'm happy with it came out great the first one i wish it would have came out a little better i had one that came really close to this edge and the one in the middle came really close to that edge but that's kind of the nature of the beast with this just keep your drill bit size a little bit smaller would be my number one recommendation but i'm sure we'll be fine um, another thing I'm going to bring up, and I'll probably make in another video, if you look closely, the head gasket that was on this was just barely sealing there, and barely sealing there. Um, I'll touch that in another video. What I'm seeing is a lot of the wrong head gaskets put on these AFR heads, and luckily they kind of barely seal. Um, they do seal, but man you're kind of asking for trouble so we'll touch that in another video but that's all for the steam holes uh, make sure you make good marks take your time go with a little bit smaller drill bit about a hundred thousandths on the top 125 on the bottom i see no reason to be any larger than that hopefully this helps some guys and like i said um i wouldn't push anyone to do it themselves but if you think you can do it I i'd say go ahead take your time if you're questioning it man just take it to machine shop and have them do it Thanks. Have a good day.